Oh, that's uh, something I'm working on. Hey, you look like you've done some farm work in your time. Are you free to help me out? I just need you to eat some of this meat I've cooked up. Oh, it's not for a person or anything like that. I just need you to give it a taste and tell me what you think. No reason. I thought you might have heard about that accident. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, scarf that down and tell me what you think. That, my friend, was a new type of meat I've discovered. I call it bacon. No, I named it after myself, Eli Bacon. Bacon, like my last name. That's what all the great people do. What would you say if I told you it was from a pig? Well, it's a long story. But let me ask you something first. What would you say pigs are good for? And what else? Exactly. Aside from pig wrestling, they're useless. They're just big, smelly animals that eat loads of food. Oh, even pig wrestling is in decline thanks to all these new sports like castle wars and dueling. Thanks to all these popular pastimes, there's no demand for pigs. I think only me and Martin keep them these days. And he only keeps them because of the tourist money generated by his freakishly large pig, Pigzilla. Basically, if people find out that pigs taste delicious when cooked, how long do you think it'll take to eat them all? I just look at what happened to those useless no-horned unicorns that were all over the place a few years ago. When people worked out they tasted good, they were wiped right out. What we'll do is get people wanting pigs for something other than meat. After all, people keep cows around for milk and sheep for wool. Well, if we can convince them pigs are good for something, then they'll start breeding them again. Once the numbers are back up, we can reveal the tasty truth to everyone. By that point, there'll be enough pigs that people can eat as many as they want. I have a plan. What we're going to do is... What sound? Those are some of the locals. They know about bacon. I gave a few of them a taste and now they're addicted. They're crazy. Don't worry. So long as you lock that gate behind you, we should be all right. gone to tell the difference. Here, take this big stack of bacon. We'll need some planks too. Let's go. I can't rescue this pig! Try and build something out of these to distract them. Quick! I can't rescue this pig! I That's can't rescue thing. this pig! Now cover it in bacon as a diversion. I can't rescue this pig! I can't rescue this pig! I can't 
can't rescue this pig! We can't rescue this pig! Good work. While they're eating that bacon, we can get this show on the road. You remember I said I had a plan to drive up demand for pigs? Well, this is it. What we do is, we raise an amazing pig. I mean, a real monster. One that people will come from miles around to see. Then, we train it to do some sort of trick. We show it off to all kinds of folks, and they go nuts for pigs. And before you know it, demand for pigs will soar. And then... Bam! We bring out bacon and make a fortune. Well, it is called bacon. I'm sure that legally they'll have to pay me money when they start making it. I oh, sent off a form and promised to hand over lots of money to secure the rights to call pig meat bacon. <laughs> it can't fail! I know! All we need to do is work out what a pig is good for. Any ideas? How will that get people interested? That's a good idea you had there. I guess you're smarter than you look after all. Now we need our show pig. Go have a word with Martin in Draenor. And see if he'll let us have a piglet from his big old pigzilla. You can always find him by his pigsty in the marketplace. Just head southeast from here and you'll find him in no time. Right, see you later.
would you want one of them? Are you thinking of starting a pig farm? If you are, then be warned. The bottom has really fallen out of the pig wrestling game. You'd be better off investing in a cow. Oh, that is good news. I suppose I could give you a piglet if that's the case. Hold on there. I need you to do something for me first. I don't know who it is, but someone has been picking my pockets. I think it was one of those dodgy types over to the west. I want you to find out who did it and give them a thrashing. No, that's a little too much. Just give them a good kicking and I'll give you the piglet. Remember, one of them will be lying about where he was when it happened. Just fine. If they can't tell you truthfully where they were when I was robbed, they must be the culprit. I was with Dan. Me and him go way back, we do. I was with Chris. We were minding our own business. You know what I mean? I was with Ed. Yeah, he'll back me up. I was with Bert. We were minding our own business. You know what I mean? I was with Chris. I was with Dan. I was with Chris. He'll tell you. Just go and ask him. All right, you got me. Now, what you gonna do about it? What? It's good to finally meet you. Did you enjoy robbing me, you swine? I did indeed, and I'll do it again once this farce is over. You'll be laughing on the other side of your face in a moment. Let him have it. Is that it? Yeah, I mean, I barely felt that. Well, no, but I expected more than one little punch. You know, there are lots of ways you can hit someone without killing them. So, so, is that really it? Can I go now? Oh, look. A piglet and a kitten. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Isn't the pig chubby and cute? And the kitten fluffy and adorable? They are the best of friends and have adorable adventures every day. <laughs> I, can, I can literally taste my own agony! Help! They dress up in little costumes and run around with all their woodland chums. <laughs> By the gods, he's had enough! What high jinks and capers they get up to. <laughs> okay, okay, I think he's learned his lesson. Leave him be. Learned lesson. Go in hospital. Now. 
<laughs> I'm pretty sure you just scared off every pickpocket in the district. Well done. You've more than earned this little piglet. Great! Did he ask much for it? Sounds like a fair enough trade. Let's take a look at that piglet then. What we need to do now is work on making a machine to train the pig. What was it you thought they could do again? Haul stuff about for you? Yeah, that sounds about right. I have some plans drawn up, but I think you'd be better off putting it all together. Three planks should cover it. All it'll take is a couple of planks. I'd help out myself, but I broke my hammer on a hiker last week. Ah, fair enough. Anyway, not wanting to change the topic or anything, after you've built it, you'll need to upgrade it to train the pig. That should only take a couple of iron bars and three more planks. Oh, and best use some nails to hold it all together. In fact, I have those here for you now. You might as well use mine as they're yours. Here, since you can take it all now, you might as well have the stuff to upgrade it as well. That'll save you time when you're done building it. Right, see you later. need to fatten this little fellow up a bit, make him look more impressive like. I have plenty of pig feed, but we should probably mix in some wheat to fortify it a little. Would you mind grabbing some for me? Five bundles should be more than enough. There's a field over by Draenor that you can take it from. It's not too far away. Right, see you later. That should keep us sorted for a while. Thanks. Your pig is still looking a little small. We need to bulk it up a bit. I don't think we can keep this news under wraps for much longer. Those bacon addicts. Wait, that's it. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't mind me. I just thought of something funny about pig. I have had an idea, though. What this little squealer needs is some good, healthy exercise. Ah, keeping him cooped up down here won't do him any good. We need to get him up and about in the sunshine. If we can clear the yard of addicts, then we can take him for a good old trot about in the fresh air. Here, I use this sleeping potion sometimes when I need to get pigs to sleep. Just let me peel that old skull and crossbones label off. <laughs> there, that should do it. Now you just go up there, attach some bacon to one of those pig statues you made, and then pour some potion on them. When they tuck into it, they'll fall asleep. Then I can... Um, Sounds 
good. I'll do that. Just head up into the field through the trapdoor to begin. I'll leave the bacon and sleeping potion up there for you. How's the yard looking now? Don't worry about that. The potion takes a while to act. Makes it more of a surprise when they start to get sleepy. I mean, it's best to slip an animal this stuff when they don't expect it. Hey, how are you feeling, by the way? Oh, no reason. Tell you what, in case the potion doesn't work, why don't you go get me some onions? Well, you know how garlic repels vampires. I'm convinced that onions will repel these bacon addicts. Look, I invented bacon, so I should know how it works. Bacon and onions are two strong flavors, and they just don't go together. To those hardened bacon addicts, well, they shouldn't even be able to go near them. Specifically, fresh onions. So, if you can go and get me a fresh onion you picked yourself, then we can use it to clear the yard if the poison doesn't work. That's right so far. Look, I'm the bacon expert here. I can't just expect any lay person to understand how this stuff works. Oh, don't worry. I've got it under control. The addicts, uh, they, uh, blew away in a storm. Oh, he's been taking your friend here out for trips around the field. Good exercise. Yeah. Oh, yes, your pig is still hungry, and with the addicts gone, he'll eat the onions himself. 
We might as well top up the supplies in case the meat runs out. Meals! I meant in case his meals run out. That should keep us safe if more addicts appear. I suppose the next thing to do is turn on the machine and see how well it works. Well, you built the thing. I doubt the pig will be much use just from this, but it'll look just grand. And that's all we need. If the pig looks good and you can pretend that the trick works, we're set. This might need a little work. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. Come here, you. It does, although I think I should give it a tweak while you're away. Maybe I can dig up some of the clothes, packs and armor buried in the field to equip the pigs a little better. People keep on dropping things in there, like old clothes, hats, money, personal possessions and unwanted limbs. I buried them in the field to keep the place from getting untidy. Look, it's a farming thing. You wouldn't understand. No, I didn't kill any. Wait, what? You, you believe that? No reason. Remind me to get you with a character witness if I ever need one. Anyway, take that pig round the big cities to show it off. Lumbridge Castle Courtyard, Barrop Marketplace, Ardugny Marketplace, and near the North Falador Gate would be the best places to give it a try. If nothing else, they're next to those lodestone things, so you can teleport there with the pig easily. Don't be frightened to let the pig walk with you. Just put him down on the ground when you want to show him off, and pick him up when you're done. Here, this should help your memory. Now, go and show the world what a pig can do. And if you don't like the name Martin gave your pig, you can go and change it with him now he's all yours. Hey there, stranger. Why do you have a pig following you around? Is it pig wrestling day already? I need to get my wrestling hat. Oh, that sounds useful, but can it also carry smaller items like seeds and arrowheads? Huh? And can it keep my items safe from pickpockets? I heard that some fled here from Draenor recently. Well, stranger, your pig certainly has shown us a new way to store and carry our belongings. But, uh, just out of interest, where can we get trained pigs like this? Yes, we've had to cancel the last three pig wrestling days because we couldn't find one. We had to use a goblin in the end. It just wasn't the same. Ha, 
That's a great idea. Three cheers for this passing stranger and his performing pig. That's a great idea. Three cheers for this passing stranger and his performing pig. That's a great idea. Three cheers for this passing stranger and this performing pig. That's a great idea. Three cheers for this passing stranger and this performing pig. Welcome back. It worked. We've had about a dozen people come by asking to buy breeding pairs of pigs. Others have put in orders for pig training equipment, too. I hear that Martin's in the same position. You've saved the pig population from going extinct. Only thing is, what with my pigs being moved underground, they think that's the way to raise them. 
I suppose you're right. Just means that if you want to get bacon at the main city, you shall have to keep an eye out for pig pits instead of pig stoys. In a year or so, we can start letting people in on the secret of bacon. In the meantime, you can come and see me whenever you want more. This calls for a friar. Here we go! When I take you down, I'm a bacon gown, I'm a glorious P.I.G. I was now installing with a pork medallion and a... Can I help you with something? Things for you if you want them. There you go. We've sent them to your bag. Anything else you need? I got the will to pay the bills on the next you'll keep on scratching. I right, see you later.